Hi, you probably clicked on this video because you're interested uh, into what to build on the wizard. And during my streams, I've got many questions and uh, really often they're all about the gear. What to buy on the wizard? Uh, I only have uh, a thousand gold, what should I buy? So I've decided to make a video to help you guys um, learn what to buy on the wizard depending on the budget you have. The really, the, the really beginner wizard, we usually, usually have like between a thousand and two thousand gold. So I decided to make a budget kit at 1500. Then the mid gear wizard at 3000 to 4000 gold. And finally, uh, the most expensive one that I used during my runs in solos that helped me, that helped me reach uh, exemplar 2. Um, that cost around like 15k to 20k that I'm going to explain at the end. So if you've got any extra question at the end of the video, make sure to uh, write them in the comments because I, I read all of them and I'll try to answer all of them. So enjoy and thank you. So before we go deep into the gear, um, let's try to focus on the stats we actually want to build and in what order too. So the first most important stat we want on wizard is knowledge. Knowledge allows you to cast faster, but also to have more memory capacity, so you can carry more spells, but also to recover your spell faster while you rest. I usually want to have around 43 to 46 knowledge, because that's around like 80 to 90% cast speed. That's where my mem uh, muscle memory sits at. Want. The second stat we want is damage. The damage is coming from additional true damage, and additional magical damage. What are the difference? True damage does always plus two here, no matter the magical resistance your opponent has. But additional damage has limb and headshot multipliers. But in the current meta, a lot of characters and classes have high MDR. So I prefer to have true damage. So these were the two most important stats I wanted to cover. And now we're going into the second category of stat we want to build on wizard. Um, in this second category, the first stat I want is health. Health um, allows you to survive in a lot of scenario. With like 134 HP, I can tank up to like four or five arrows from a ranger, but also like three to four hits from a barbarian. Because it doesn't matter how much damage you have, if you get too tapped, then the damage you've built is useless. So I hope you understand that and uh, try to find the balance between the damage you want and the survivability. Then uh, comes move speed. So wizard is a high um, kiting class. Uh, we don't want to be hit by our opponent and we want to be able to kite them around. So move speed is really important. So I try to look around for like three or five and more move speed. And this is my most expensive kit so far. And the move speed is like 311. So this was it for the stat we want. And I'm gonna show you um, how you can buy like multiple uh, and different gear set depending on the budget you have. We're gonna start with 1500 gold, uh, which is the budget uh, kit. And then we're gonna go over the 3000 gold kits, 3000 to 4000. 4, 4, and finally, uh, the beast one I'm wearing right now that's probably worth around like 15k. So the first kit you're gonna cover, like I said, is going to be the budget one, up to 1500 gold. With this kit, you reach around 43 knowledge with Sage, um, seven true damage, and uh, 294 more speed. So now I'm gonna show you how to buy it in the marketplace. I've listed all the items you need to buy here, what's that you need to look for and the price I bought them for. And you can see the total come up to around 1500 gold.
So for the mid kit, that usually is around like 3,000 to 4,000 gold, it's probably like the same as the budget kit, but we've upgraded a few pieces. I've highlighted them. So we went from like a green light acton to that blue one, and it went for like 400 to like 600 gold. Then we got the reinforced glove. This time we're looking for like for plus four HP rolls, which cost now 400 gold instead of like 100 gold. Uh, the rings, uh, we're looking for like true magical damage on both rings, and they're usually like 200 each, so that's like 400 extra. Uh, then we have necklace of peace, that's like three true magical damage, and they go around like 400 to 500 gold. And finally, we upgraded the spell book to a purple one, uh, with a max of rolls on it, so they cost usually around like three to 400 gold. And the total comes up to like two uh, 2950 gold. So for the last part, I'm gonna cover the best kit I'm using right now. Um, it costs around like 15k, but it can go way higher depending on market like prices. And why is it, is it so expensive? It's because of the jewelry. So let me show you. So for example, the bear pen in here has like plus two all and three true magical damage. It's actually the best blue pendant uh, you can buy beside like ne necklace of peace. And those goes around for like 5,000 and more. Now, the, the rings, um, they have both plus all and true magical damage. Both of them. Uh, the wisdom one can be bought in the marketplace for like 3,000 and this, this one for 3,000 also. Um, the spell book is a blue spell book with 5 max health and 6 magical power. Adventure tunic, 3 knowledge to all. Loose trousers, plus to all, form of speed. And the cloak has um, armor rating and two true, and it's purple. And finally, the boots, uh, move speed, max health, and armor rating. So this is like 500, Julie, 500, 1000, 1000. Um, the gloves, they're also around like 800, 1000. Uh, the leather cap goes for more than 1000, and the spell book. Is usually around 800 and 1000 with those rolls and the staff is any staff you can find uh, but purple go for like 200 to like 400 